Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name's Amber, and I'm so happy you're joining me today because I have some fantastic mermaid drawings to share with you. What is mermaid, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Mermaid is a month-long celebration of creativity, community, and above all else, mermaids. Mermaid is a drawing prompt challenge where every day you get a different prompt and take it to try and create a drawing or painting or anything else you feel like making uh, into a new creative mermaid. So Tom Bancroft has created this prompt list this year, and I believe every subsequent year. And uh, if you don't know who Tom Bancroft is, well, you may know someone he's worked on. It's Mushu! Yeah, it's Mushu. You've seen his work. Hey, you know it's the end of June, right? Uh, well, yeah. Okay, then why are you talking about a May challenge? Shouldn't you be on to Doodle Wash or Tinker Sketch or Doodle a Day? Uh, I started my mermaid a little shaky. I tried to catch up. And, well, you'll kind of see what happens throughout the video. And on that note, I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer than you already have, so please enjoy my entries into this year's Mermaid. Hey guys, Boys Over and Amber here. I'm going to walk you through some of my thoughts while I was creating these images for Mermaid. So the first prompt of the month was celebration. As you can see, I uh, kind of started several different sketches. I didn't really know what I wanted to accomplish. I wanted it originally to be kind of musical and then didn't know where I was going. And then it's was like, well, what do you have at a celebration? Balloons? Sure, let's go for balloons. in Procreate it has this animation function which a lifetime ago I thought I was going to be an animator so I attempted to do that here and uh, quickly gave up on it. For this prompt warrior I got this image in my head pretty quickly of this super strong eel-like badass woman with a big weird sword. Now, I think I put this out on May 6th. I was definitely well behind the curve to be releasing the second prompt. The beginning of May uh, just kind of was getting away from me and I was like, do I want to do Mermaid? And I definitely did. So I just had to get all my stuff together and actually carry through with it. So she's more of an eel, and I wanted to do just a super simple flat color in. You'll see later in the month I do a lot of black and white line works. That's kind of what I feel is my forte when I'm drawing. This is definitely one of the ones that I feel like I could go back into and experiment with and uh, really progress it as a study. Okay. Prompt three, sunset. I had this great imagery in my head about what this larger than life mermaid made up of a sunset could be. One thing that I'm trying to learn how to do with Procreate is get a more painterly look. I don't feel like it was very successful. I got pretty defeated when I was working on this piece. Just something with like not finding the right brushes or settings. Something's just not vibing with me there quite yet. Gonna keep practicing, obviously. Next up we have Star Wars. This prompt is for May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, if you don't know Star Wars, which I can't imagine you don't know, but may the 4th be with you. And uh, I had this idea originally, I was gonna do like a little Darth Vader animation. I was still really like, yeah, I want to play with this animation tool and procreate a little bit more. But I ended up going with the Stormtrooper idea. Just like a cute little mermaid. 
just wanting to practice going through the frames and how Procreate lays it out for you. As you can see, I'm just doing the cleanup here now, going over it, simplifying it, getting the shapes that I want. I started out with my reference of the Stormtrooper and I was quite lazy and just did a quick trace over of the helmet because I knew that was going to be the major thing that I would struggle with. And yeah, it's just a super simple little repeating animation of a Stormtrooper. Prompt royalty. I had this idea for this cute little princess with, I just wanted her to have like some weird wand, but she's like a fish princess. And yeah, that, <laughs> that's basically it. Just super cute and fun and a fish head for a crown. So Prompt Tsunami, I was getting a better feeling and vibe for working in Procreate. Again, like I, I had my reference image pulled up. So this reference photo is actually an artist depiction of Usunami already, and the credit goes to Gabriel Andreas Trulio Escobedo, and I am so sorry about butchering the pronunciation of that. I just really loved how he captured the movements and the water details. I found this reference photo just by googling Tsunami, like if you did the same thing you'll find it right there, and I don't think there's anything there's definitely not anything wrong with using references, so long as you acknowledge it. For this mermaid, I wanted her to be like just more fun, more attitude, and uh, I really went back and forth for the composition, like if I wanted the arm, if I didn't want it, what kind of position to be in, and then I actually had a really good time coloring this work. Most of the time I struggle when it gets to the coloring portion of it. I find the sketching, the creating, the line work to be super fulfilling and then I start coloring and I'm like, why can't this be done already? Why can't it just look like how I picture it? And that's what I was working on here. I was just having a good time getting lost in the sauce, putting down all the white detailing, and really enjoying the process. The next prompt is Tranquil. This ended up being on Mother's Day. So I had this image of a mother-daughter nurturing relationship uh, that I have with my mom and I dedicated it to her. All right, heroic prompt. Absolutely not. I was not feeling this prompt at all. I just wanted to doodle that day. So this is what came out of that. A grinning deep sea creature. All right, so these mermaids, we got Best Buddy, Ashamed, Not Outcast, and Alien. So I've put these four together to just try and speed up this video here because I know it's a lot of drawings and I don't want to take up too much time, but the Best Buddy prompt it turned out to be one of my favorites from the month. And then when I was trying to think of what to draw for the outcast prompt, I was in a pretty dark headspace and just was not feeling it at all. I wanted to do a happy image, which I just started doodling those two and ended up basically just doing the best buddy prompt again. The ashamed prompt, I was working a lot with the lasso tool and trying to figure out a workflow within that. And the alien was again just using the same principles that I used in the best buddy prompt and making the workflow work for me. As you see two lovely smiling women, they shamed with a lasso tool. Take two of best buddies and a lovely little alien. This prompt, Fury, is actually the mermaid piece that I worked on the most and I did not release it. I teased it a little bit on my socials and then just could not finish it. Prompt Adrift. This one was a super quick 
uh, down and dirty drawing. Prompt rescued. I didn't spend a whole lot of time brainstorming or really thinking about this one. I had this like little cute mermaid that got caught up in this fisherman's net and this is it. So prompt deity, I really like. I had a great time creating her and sometimes, you know, when you sketch it just feels like it all comes together. It just, it feels right. This was one of those sketches that I was just like, yeah, I feel like I'm doing something right here. I really enjoy this. Originally I was going to have her with like the jellyfish head and then going with the multiple tails and things for her, I was just like, you know what, I feel like it would be better to just keep it as a headpiece as opposed to another creature on her head. Gave her some fish skeleton tattoos across her breast, because why not? She's holding a flaming skull. She's got her spear. I wanted it to feel like with her that all her limbs would work collectively. For multi-limb creatures, I just feel like it needs to make sense in how they would move and interact. So I hope that comes across in the image because I really do love how this one turned out. Okay, prompt crustacean. Now, I really like how this one came together as well. I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. I apologize. But when I initially imagined this little crab person, I thought maybe I should draw all the legs coming out. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe the viewer can just imagine all the weird legs inside the shell. I wanted to give it, yeah, this kind of like underwater alien type of look. And this is what I came up with. Just really enjoying adding the bioluminescent kind of spots all over his shell and skin. And just adding a couple little details and shadows there at the end. And there he is. Crustacean. Alright, wreckage. So, why is this mermaid celebrating? Did she cause these shipwrecks? Does she just enjoy them after the fact? I don't know. Now this one. The prompt was wrath which I've crossed out there because I did not do Wrath because I was like, ah, Wrath feels too much like Fury and I'm working on this Fury piece still and quite enjoying it, so I'll just double up on it. And I had this idea kind of puttering around in my head and I was like, I feel like I really need to, to get her out and onto paper. I quite liked my caption for this one when I uploaded it, I said, what? How could a skull smoke a pipe underwater? I don't know. Ask the mermaid. So that's kind of my feelings on that. I don't have to justify anything. It's it's a mermaid. And yeah, uh, again, this one's one of my favorites. I really like how she turned out. And I'm kind of puttering around with a comic idea for her. I, I really like her. All right, ancestors. So this one, I wanted it to be more like a fairy tale, storybook kind of idea and just about how big a mermaid could get or how long this mermaid has been here that she's collected all like the algae and the fish colonies around her from just staying static. and. Uh, this younger mermaid coming and getting in touch with her and visiting his ancestor. So that's where my headspace was on this one. And again, I really like how this one came out. 
still kind of sketchy, but hopefully clear enough in its storytelling about what I was going for. So futuristic. <sighs> As you can see or have read on the screen there, there's an estimated 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic in our oceans. So when I thought of the prompt futuristic, I feel like if mermaids were real, this would be their future. Or honestly, probably their reality now, based on how much pollution there is in our oceans. So it was really hard to think of a positive prompt for this one when we have such an issue with that. And I like there, I drew out a straight line so I could write the, the lettering correctly and then just didn't use it. Go me. A blaze. Now, for this one, I wanted to try and avoid like a fire headed mermaid. And I thought an eel would be cool and then she was going to be all on fire and it's again, I don't have to justify it, what a mermaid could or could not do, but uh, I decided to go with a fire cape instead and I was like, I'm going to color this and it's going to be great and it's going to come out exactly as I picture it and it absolutely did not. This is not what I intended at all, but again, I just wanted to keep practicing with coloring and procreate. And there she is. Siren song. If you don't know what a siren song is, it's basically like a call of a mermaid or a mythical creature that's like seductive or siren song. So a siren song is basically like the call of a mermaid or a mythical creature that lures in or deceives sailors or anyone who would have been out on the waters. So I went through a couple different quick versions of how I wanted them to be positioned. I knew what I wanted the guy to look like and then just kept messing around till I felt like I had the right feel for the mermaid. And with this one, I also wanted to throw like a little bit of atmospheric coloring on it because I wanted it clear that he was coming through the water and this strange, otherworldly sea creature uh, deceiving him or luring him into coming into the water. All right, so got a few things happening on this screen here. Treasure, punk, shore, shark, and bestial. So I've just combined all these for time's sake. The shark prompt, I really like how it turned out. Just a clean line, tiger shark. Treasure, I wanted to do something more abstract than a mermaid with a pile of gold. So what is it that you treasure? Connections, right? Your loved ones. For the shore, it's like, yeah, you wouldn't know that she was a mermaid from the shore. And the punk and the bestial ones pretty much speak for themselves. Bestial, I wanted like a werewolf kind of guy. Again, for this one, no prompt. Uh, I was not feeling that prompt. So I just decided to doodle a mermaid. So the final prompt I did here was pirate. And what's the difference between pirate and buccaneer? She sneers for she does not know. <laughs> but I quite liked uh, coming up with this one as well. I thought it was super cute and uh, I, I enjoy how it came out. So here I'm doing the same kind of screen tone look I've done before on several of the other prompts. This is something that I got really into over May and just really liked how it pulls the piece together with the shading, uh, but also leaving it textured. So I like that a lot. So there you have it. My work for Mermaid 2020. What did you guys think? What are your favorites? Please sound off down below uh, what you believe to be my most successful pieces were. 
Uh, I believe my top five in no particular order would be the Best Buddy Prompt, the Tsunami, because uh, I actually quite enjoyed coloring that one, the Skull, the, the Flaming Skull Smoking a Pipe Underwater, I, I quite like that one as well, and the Deity, Deity, Deity Prompt, and probably the Ashamed Prompt, because I thought that was a cool experiment with the lasso tool. Do you guys agree with me? Let me know down below. Well guys, this is my first time trying to produce content like this, so if you have enjoyed it, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe if you'd like to see more stuff like this from me in the future. I consider myself a creative person and I do have a lot of ideas that I'd like to explore and film for this channel. So I'm going to pop my socials right up here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. Bye!